All right, so it loads. And then uh, these are just tests right here, which tell me that everything's getting loaded from that file. And uh, so then go to create player. And uh, I feel like we'll, we'll have these all designed. So right now I just kept them like this, but uh, you'll get to enter in uh, all the character data, uh, you know, whatever it is. Select family, it's from this list. And so once I pick that family, the perp gets filled in. And here's the species, you, it, it changes species based on that. So say it's like, oh, I, I wanted to change, you know, that will change and this should have cleared out. So I will fix that. And then um, you get dog and then your morphisms are here and your motivation. And uh, for the ledger part, I feel like uh, it might be in the wrong spot. So I'll email you the information from what I read and see what you think. And I introduced the swipe as well so you could go to the next page and this is where you set your blocks and right now I put this in green just to you know stand out but uh, it pulls a perk in from the previous section so plus one to body strength so your body strength you're at one now in this section if you decide to just click before picking a block it'll say choose your blocks first um, so you gotta go up here select your primary now you got all your points assigned and then you're pretty much ready to just go and uh, have fun with it uh, after you pass three it just tells you you're going past the loud limit but then lets you do it if you decide to go past uh, uh, you know the actual number it just resets and gives you those points back and uh, so for example let's go into negative so I'm going to go to oops, one more and uh, it should say it'll, it'll let you just go to negative. I could have it uh, let you keep on going, but then when you click back, uh, you know, it gives you back the points that you're at. So um, I'm not sure if you want me to create something that uh, tells you that, hey, you're in the negative. Uh, or not I could fix that and do that uh, and we could kind of talk about that and then uh, with your actual plus one family perk it's always gonna be there so for example say I want to reset it that one you could you can't ever change so that's kind of like where that part goes with um, the dice you click on the dice it'll tell you how many you have of each so I could say, okay, that's a D12. They'll say you have none, right? D10. If I pick it, nothing happens. So I could put in an alert saying, oh, you don't have enough of these, but I figured it's pretty self-explanatory at that point. So then you can do that. And you know, you got all your points over here and say you're like, oh crap, I want to go back. You know, the previous stuff gets loaded here and is saved 